Bernard King behind the camera and I'm Cleefy 2004. Some of you know me as Robbie. So, what we have today is my second rig being built from scratch. And I'm just going to show you all the parts real quick and we're going to get started. So, first up, we have the Corsair HX 1000 watt power supply. It comes with all your nice cables, fully modular. Right in there. They're all black. Looks very nice. Next, we have the Core i7 860 LGA 1156. Um, this uh, this bad boy is going to be overclocked. Hopefully, up to near four, if not four. We have a little mounting bracket adapter here. The point of this guy is to mount our card reader, which we have sitting right over here. We've got SD cards, we've got a XDC, HM, SM, whatever, all your, all your card reading, I don't know, all the different types of cards. We have the NZXT2 Century, Century 2 fan controller. Uh, I've seen a lot of reviews about this, and I think it's great. It's going to look really good. Now, to cool our Core i7, we've got... Thermal Take V10 is a monster. Big cooler. Let's see how that works. We'll do a video on how well it's cooling and show you some temperatures. Now, for um, I think the most important part of this computer is <laughs> that one, the two Radeon HD 5870s. We're going to open these guys up a little bit later, but. Uh, these guys are going to be amazing. The heart of the computer right there. Finally, we have, um, I think, one of the better motherboards I've ever seen in my life. It's a Big Bang Trinergy from MSI. This has high C capacitors, comes with a sound card. It's got some of the best voltages I've ever seen through the processors. It can support up to three video cards. We have two. We're going to be running full X16 bandwidth, and it's going to be it's going to be great. We have our DVD drive, we have a Blu-ray drive, and under somewhere we should have a hard drive. Under the Bluetooth. Oh. And the RAM. Oh yeah, I'll show the RAM right after the hard drive. Okay, this is a this guy is really cool. This is a two terabyte Seagate drive with 64 megabits of cache. Um, it's SATA 3, so this is um, bleeding edge technology. We're going to see how it works, see how fast it goes. I have a little Bluetooth adapter here for peripherals like PS3 controllers or headphones or whatever. So, through Bluetooth. And then we have our RAM. We have the Mushkin Black Enhanced DDR3 1600 MHz, timings of 686. And we have two set, two kits. So 8 gigs of RAM total. So it's going to be it's going to be a very high end rig here. And lastly, but not the least at all, we have our half 932 case. This is um this is an amazing case. I'm sure you all know about this case. If you want to learn more about it, there's tons of video reviews. Just check out other people. I recommend 3D Gamerman and Troubadour. They have good reviews as well as TJ. Alright, so what's up you two? I'm back. I'm doing a brief, brief, brief unboxing of these two 5870s. Real quick, look behind me, that's where we have so far in our build here. Everything's installed and, you know, almost ready to go. I gotta get the video cards in though, so before I do that, I'll show you what's in the box. Alright. Oh, of course, like many of you have seen in other re reviews, there's a box in a box. That's the way it usually is. Nice packaging. It's kind of stylish. HAS. It's got their little sword thing going on. Um, in the box, you get some cool things here. You've got your DVI to VGA adapter. So, 
and you've got two six pin Molex adapters if you don't have six pins or not enough six pins you've got your Crossfire X bridge which we have plenty of we have your drivers but most likely just gonna go on the website and get the latest ones and I'm gonna use this disc but that's okay and we also get a free copy of Dirt 2 it comes with these cards so that's good wow. now inside we have the actual video card which is pretty badass sorry young kids but uh... <laughs> This is pretty awesome. Check that guy out. It's huge. I mean, look, look at it compared to the Cooler Master V10. Look at it compared to the case. It's like more than half of the whole case. It's like the video card. It's amazing. Should I take it out? Okay. Pull it out here. Out of this little safe shell. Wow, look at this guy. It's got a little sticker on it. It says HIS. We're doing HD 5870. Ooh, it's got a nice blow cooler. Very nice designs on here. It looks great. ATI Radeon. Two six pin powered adapters. Oh, and the thing I love most about these cards they have the back plate. That's awesome. And you think, well, why is it upside down? Well, it's not upside down. Good job, ATI. When it's plugged in, it's going to be right side up. This looks fantastic. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks. See you later. Ooh. Ooh. Check it out, Daryl. Oh, thank God it works. Dude, look how silent that is. Oh, I was so nervous it wasn't going to turn on. Check it out. Those video cards are like flamethrowers. So there's your fan controller. I don't know if our temps, I guess it shows some of our temps. You can call your dad out here and show him that it works. We'll get him in a few minutes. I proved him wrong already, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So down is power on. <clears throat> I mean, line is on, circles off. It would be cooler to have some red on the bottom like, like that, but... And it'd be good to have a fan blowing straight into this GPU, but for right now, it's okay. And this thing is definitely not spinning as fast as it can. Yeah.